try to avoid the your occasion of sin, and for your penance, say the rosary five times. I'll make a good act of contrition. Five rosaries? Father, I have never in my life had the occasion to have to say three rosaries, let alone five. One, two... Bowser. The penance comes from God. It's not something that you negotiate. Now make a good act of contrition. Rally's there. The medicine you gave me for my shoulder really helped a great deal. Do you have any more of it? Yes, I do, I do. I have one bottle left, and that, that, that's promised to Madame Marie. Of course, I could make some more, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be on my knees all day seeing those five rosaries. Belazare! Belazare! The penance comes from God. I only exercise a slight discretion in determining what it well, is. Well, my power to heal comes from God directly. And I have a great deal of discretion. And if I had only one rosary to say, I might have time to be making you the medicine you need for your shoulder. Belazare! Be Belazare! Think of the bishop. He doesn't understand these country parishes. If he heard we were negotiating a penance, do you know what he'd do to me? Oh, well. Maybe you should talk to the bishop about your shoulder. Belazare! <clears throat> Bless you. that tell us what's coming. She said you'd know about it. Tu onde? Oh, madame, so sad, sunstroke and you don't have the moon stroke you're gonna have another boy Elida <laughs> sometime between Christmas and the new year 
I believe. Morning sickness near sundown. Ma, I always was a little contrary. contrary. <laughs> I'll leave you that citronelle and the red raspberry. That ought to make you fall. Bien, merci. Promise. Promise not to tell anybody. What? Uh, no, you know, I can keep this secret. Alida, Matthew's got to act right by you now, no matter what his papa says. Well, it's good of you to care. I do care. Yeah, much more than you know, Alida. Good, <laughs> belly Zana. No wonder I hear such stories about you. What stories? Mm, what stories? You know, the widow Camo. Hmm? The widow Camo? Mm hmm. Well, she'd marry my mule if he'd have her. <laughs> Say, Matthew. Hey, Mo, get that for me, would you? Try not to take you long in there. Hey. Hey. How you doing, partner? Fine. I'm gonna give you this milk and stuff. I'll tend to your horse. Take that for me, would you? There you go. Hey, baby. I bought you a little something. I bought you a little. Promis-moi. Don't tell Matthew about the baby. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 What, well, is that the horse stock in here? Matthew, I wasn't feeling well this morning. What's she doing here? Well, as one with power to heal, Matthew, I've always had the good fortune to be able to enter any home I please, so... Just no, I sense a little, little stress here in her stomach region. Just a little belly. And I suggested to her that uh, red raspberry and that citronella. Monsieur Bellizaire yeah. brought me herbs. Yeah. To you know, it's amazing. Uh, people nowadays, yeah. they have such little respect for our Acadian ways. And when one they love falls ill, they always no, seem to come back much, to me. Yeah, I'm we're going to be just fine here. Thank you. I appreciate Good. you getting uh, All right. Matthew. What the hell are you doing? This is for not the pain out of your house, Matthew. Well, thank you very much, but I don't need the pain knocked out of my house. I appreciate that, don't you? Well, you got snakes. Get away from here. Don't you come around here again. You're all needed around here. I don't want to see you around here again. You hear me, Mr. Belazan, bro? You casting Grigri spells? Grigri is the evil, Mr. Willoughby. Of course, a man like you might well have use for that, but uh, my powers are to heal. We had no San Domingo slave woman once who dealt in magic. We sold her off. Grigri. Oh, <laughs> oh, no curse on me, Belizaire. <laughs> Matthew, hurry up in there. Hey, I have to go out again tonight. Encore, Matthew. Mm. No encore. The meetings are finished. Tonight we ride.
Once you men come here, fine. Police Leger, you will undergo an infamous punishment because you have taken part in all the crimes which have desolated this country for many years, no longer having faith in our juries, all as they are by sheriffs, to keep away honest men and admit rascals to the jurors' bench. We have formed ourselves in the juries. You have been found guilty of theft and born burning. You have been condemned to leave the state within two weeks. I ain't done nothing. I don't want no trouble. If you break this bond, you will be hanged. Let's go! Felix Nunez! Felix Nunez! You have been condemned to leave the state within two weeks. Go elsewhere and seek a living by work and morality. If you break this bond, you will be hanged. Let's go! Dépêche-toi, Belizeur. Dépêche-toi. Yeah, slow down, Polite. Get down, get down, get down. They're coming for you too, Belizeur. They didn't come for you. I guess they come back for me later. We got a one power on. They come to my house. They didn't say anything about the sheriff. They just said I have to go. They said I did things I didn't do. I didn't do it. They're going to come and get you too, Paula. They're going to come and get you. I didn't do nothing. They said I have to leave. Because you have taken get part out. in all the crimes. Get out! Hey, get back! Hey! Come on! That's Belizeb, bro. We can get rid of him, too. Right, Matthew? All right, that's enough. Just read it. Read it! No longer having faith in our juries, bold as they are by sheriffs who keep away honest men and admit rascals to serve on the jurors' bench. We have formed ourselves into juries. I found Orsan trying to get into your gun closet today, Matthew. Well, he can't get past the lock. I know. But he was trying. He sees you practicing and now he wants to shoot. He needs more of you than that, Matthew. Well, this vigilante business won't take long. And then the slave auctions in New Orleans and the spring roundup. That won't take long either. My father needs me. I know. But your children share. Your children need you, too. I need you. Don't forget, Matthew. You could. My sweet. We've been here long before they was. They can't make us go. They can't. But Polly, the dozen richest men in the parish, what can we do? You know what I'm gonna do? Spend the next two weeks smoking as much beef for the trail as I can lay my hands on. Maybe the sheriff will do something. Pooh! Je vais essayer, papa, papa. 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 Je
Be careful, Father. Stay here with your wife. This is no place for a woman. Mo can stay with her. You stay with her, Rebecca. When are you going to talk to us about giving us some protection? So Stan, you get the same kind of protection you always have. Then I might as well leave for Texas. Yeah, go take me to Texas. He's a big man with all those men behind him. Yeah, 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 Sheriff, throw this one out. Yeah. 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 I've called you men in here to save you from getting yourselves into serious trouble. Twenty families you've exiled. That's too many. Pick five. Five of the worst. And I'll personally see to it that they leave. No need for you gentlemen to dirty your hands. No, Sheriff. Five is not enough. Wait. I wasn't finished. You pick five. I'll pick five. From that list of 20 that you nominated last night, it's so much noise. And for those who stay behind, they will behave or I'll lock them up. Papa told you never to come back here. Dosan? Oh, my dear. Papa told you never to come back here. Dosan! 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 I don't ever want to see you do that again. Papa told him not to come around here no more. Batosham. I stood. Beat Dosan. I'm sorry, Betty said. Oh, well. Oh, I brought you more citronelle. Merci. I want to thank you for keeping my secret yesterday. Oh, I always know what to say, don't I? Matthew, well, he gets mad when he's jealous. But it doesn't hurt him to get jealous every now and then, does it? It's certainly not jealousy that makes him and his rich friends terrorize these common people, is it? Matthew should make this committee realize, Alida, that you, by a familial obligation, you're still beholden to your own... Belize, let's talk about something else, all right? Alida, these people are given two weeks. Two weeks to pack up and leave here forever. I've heard enough about the vigilantes lately. What I say? Enough. Saturday, I'll be playing my accordion at that Fado Do dance. If they still hold one. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, my dancer stand, bring me a lead She's the one I have loved since I was 14 years old. If she don't consent, I will steal her away. <laughs> Ah, you used to come to that Fredo do. Used to be the best dancer on this bike. No, not the best. One of the best. No. Because all the boys would ask you to dance. And we'd watch you there as we waited our turns. That was before I met Matthew. Yeah. He changed you. Everybody knows around here, you know, he didn't even bother to bury you. <laughs> Oh, Belize, bro. You were telling me this. I am. Mm. Well, at least me and Matthew. At least we jumped the broomstick. You know, jumping the broomstick was fine when there was no church. I got the real priest now. It's inexcusable. If it's good enough for my mayor, it's good enough for me. 
If I had a woman like you, I'd marry her in a minute. And I would marry her in the Holy Mother Church. If you're gonna talk like that, Belize, you're gonna have to leave. But first, I'll pay you for yesterday. And today, too. No, there's no charge. These were medical visits, no matter what nonsense you talk. Not talking nonsense today. They're sweet. Yeah, really. They come from Matthew's papa's yard. Maybe you should talk to Matthew. Oh, it's papa. Is Polite in by here? Tell your cousin Polite there's no more credit around here. Come join the game, Betty Zap. Polite will be by in a while, and you will have one enough to pay his bill. I do have enough to pay his bill today. No more bother. I have to be gone in two weeks. Well, maybe we can all start raising chickens again. <laughs> everything that's not nailed down around here seems to be old. <laughs> You mean it? This is your plantation, son. But what about Rebecca's portion? Matthew will take care of his sister. Go tend to the cattle, James. Mr. Ken, if it wasn't for him and the vigilante committee, I'd be done with a roundup by now. I just want to say that if we would take the opportunity... James! The opportunity James! Hey, yes. Later! You want me to break Later. that funny-looking nose you for you? You're very brave Matthew. when you're on the other side of the fence. Burn it! Burn it! You say you have been running it for 10 Your years. Your son wants to be an Indian. He wants to be a Cajun. That's what he wants to be. That's his life. He wants. He thinks that he can make friends with all these people down here. And, uh, 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 and James, that they will still at the same time respect him. But he James, is not one of them and he will never be. Have you ever thought of shutting up once in a while? It'll take someone as strong and as hard as you. Now, I know he's your son. But Matthew is as soft as Louisiana mud. But my son will run this plantation. <clears throat> I told you not to come around my house, Bella Zabro. Well, Ellie Don needed medicine, Matthew. For one malady, she doesn't seem sick. I gave those pecans to Ellie Don. Yes, you paid me with them. Well, you tell me then, what is her illness? Huh? The female trouble. It sounds more like the male trouble to me. Well, you should be ashamed, Matthew. Ashamed of what? You come here and you accuse Aladdin. But I'm not accusing her, I'm accusing you! What are you gonna do to me? Oh, is dead? Here, yeah, even your vigilantes. No, no, they're not gonna do nothing to a man as innocent as me. Well, I think I will just have you brought before the committee. No use to bring your vigilante into this now. They'll give you back your pecans. No, 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 no. Yeah. Ellie Dodd gave me the these pecans, pecans as a payment. Put the pecans in the sack. I didn't know they were stolen. Just a minute, Matthew. You can get out. Oh! God. Fight, fight. Huh? No way! <laughs> Hey, Elida says you're just mad. Believe her. Come on. Come on. Hey, your committee had no right to exile these people. I think the committee might have missed one. Come on. What gives you the right? 
We studied each man's past. Whose? Yeah. Whose? Uh, pretty leches. Huh? What are you talking about, man? Pretty leches. Huh? What are you talking about? The fever took his family two years ago. But he ran wild for a time. But he's better now. And I personally guarantee that he's better. What could your guarantee be worth to me? What is it with you, man? Huh? Is it because I keep my promise? What promise? Huh? It's a secret. You and your friend can both go to hell. You ask on the doll what that secret is. Why would Alida keep a secret from me? Because like many people, she's afraid of your father. Yeah, you ask her. Maybe you know that I mean you no harm. Just as these people here do not deserve your exiles. What you say is true. I'll do what I can for you, friend. Leger. Polite Leger. Polite Leger. <laughs> you can have the peacocks. <laughs> I'll take two. I lose these, I'm gonna quit playing cars forever. Polite lady. No! No! Where are they going? I'll send them for the strays. I would have gotten to it. Ah. Come on, get him! They're stealing cattle! Ah. I'm coming! Let's all get back to the herd. Leger, boy, you don't give up, huh? Who? Leger. 
Holy leisure. Come on. Who Polite? Yes. No. Yes, it, it was Polite. Couldn't have been. Now Polite. Matthew thinks you two are trying to make a fool of him. Maybe you think you can make a fool of everybody, Belizea? Huh? He promised not to tell. Lalita, he couldn't beat it at him. Oh, Matthew said you started the fight. And that you told him to ask me about the baby. I didn't tell. Now, I'm expecting father's got a right to know, Elida, but I did not tell. Why'd you come by, Belly's huh? I have enough citron now from you for a month. To say to those tonight. Those days are gone. Elida, you should be seeing the neighbors and the relatives you don't see no more. Oh, C'est tout fini. Why, well, is he home tonight? And you got no need to fear for that child. Did you carry it? Man, unborn. the baby is not the Elida, reason. Oh, they're unborn. They love to dance. I tell you, that child was mine. We'd be dancing, and we'd be dancing all the time. <laughs> oh, sure. I'm with you. But huh? Well, so those are my good results. You're gonna need it. What about you? I got a better one. I know I'm not supposed to dig in your armoire, Billy Zer, but I really needed a drink. Are you rustling Perry's cattle? No. Baron, he needed some meat. Matthew Perry was helping you. I didn't know that. I did this for you. Billy Zer, we was only after I hit our two. Where is your pet at? They all left to Texas. So what are you doing here? I don't want to go to Texas, Billy Zer. Get on your horse. No, Billy Right now. Zer. Get on your horse. No, I don't want to go to Texas. The belly's ass. What? There's a fatal door. Those in the Gidry's house tonight. I know that. Keep pulling. Let's spare. Well, why don't you uh, go by Elliot Artibido's house? Yes, sir. Mama, you like 
fingers off Phil. I think he broke some of my toes. Take it easy, Pooley. You've had a lot already. And you're in trouble, boy. Oh, there's Ali Dog with the three half Americans. You come to say goodbye to the people your husband is sending away? Polite. Some fiddle up and I'm sorry. Mind if I lay down, sir? I don't want no trouble with you. Have you ever been to Texas, son? I know. It's my house. I'll take care of it. Pull it. Uh-oh. You're gonna have to leave. Leave? You got a vigilante. I know, but it's my house. You know I let anybody come here. And... But I ain't got but two rules here. The drinks stay outside, and the drunks stay outside. Huh. Now, go on with Belly Jack. I'm not gonna go. You're not a vigilante. Wait, wait, wait. I ain't leaving. Wait, 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 I feel sick. You always have something. Oh, I feel bad. Well, then you go to my house and you go to sleep right now. I'm afraid of the Texas belly there. I think it's gonna be all right. I don't know. But you know everything. No, I don't know everything. You always said you did. Yeah. I guess I meant almost everything. and go to sleep, huh? Good night, Billy, sir. Don't worry, Billy, sir. His horse will get him home. Home? They'll get him all the way to Texas. You pass me that wine, sister. What do you want, sir, Joe? Did you make that? I sure did. Much more where that one comes from. Yeah, you always made the best wine. Yeah, we're sure gonna miss that when you're gone. <laughs> what you mean, gone? Oh, 
needed here. Was you going to let him go again? There's no whipping that's needed, I said. Let's take him down from the tree. Matthew shouldn't have to do it. Let Mo do it. He'll get the whip. Are oh. well, you going to let him go again? Hmm? Why don't you let the man do it? You can kiss it and make it better. Isn't that what you want? You know what I wish? If there was you that was tied to that tree. Oh!
Dad, you're going to wake the whole house. I want to talk to Matthew. He's not home now. You can't talk to well, him. Well, who is he whipping now? Oh, wait. You come away with me, Alida. You come away from this place with me right now. I can't. I can't. I'm a married woman. Not in the eyes of my God. No, you are not a married woman. I am. I am. Even if there's no paper to say so, I am. I got Matthew and I got my children and there's no place left for you, Belizaire. Now, Matthew has his father and his vigilantes and there's no room left for you. It's too late. It's too late. Please, Belizaire, you must leave before Matthew returns. Please. My God, I could love you if you come away from this place with me right now. What about my children? How are you going to feed my babies? With pecans that you can't even keep? What do you have to offer us, Belizaire? What can you give us? Don't say he wants a horse for his birthday. Where would you ever get him a horse? Where would we go? Where are you going to take us? Instead, go south to Shonyati. No. That's where you'll catch a schooner, Pulit. You'll sail on to Galveston. Papa Your parent got you into this. I sing praise unto thee. Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I have sent up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. Neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. 
He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Monsieur Perry. I'm sorry. Look, I beg you to hear me. How could a man do harm, or even take the life of another man if he could not walk? Stay away from here. After the whipping these men gave Polite Leger, he could not walk. Show some respect. Get him home! Go! Attack his wounds! Listen, Matthew's children, you got to provide for them now. You're gonna, you're gonna need milk and rice. They're just babies. Mr. Perry. Mr. Perry. You better get these men off these horses. They'll be criminals. If you men touch one hair on that boy's head, I'll jail the whole lot of you. You're putting yourselves above the law. You're gonna go by that Cypress Island Road. Make sure you get in. I know that lazy boy. And I'll have to lock up the whole bunch of you. You jail him now. You people. Jail him right now, I said. Did you hear me? You people right out there and hurt that boy? Exactly. You'll be on, criminals. Off, Thank you. <laughs> off your horse. Hey! After all, it was your cousin Lazay's choice to ride out of my town. Well, you don't need a posse. Now lend me Loragon, since he's the only fast horse in this parish. Loragon? Loragon is parish property. Besides, there's a race Saturday. But do you want them to hang Pulit? I'll not start a war. Oh, no! He got it all wrong. I got express permission from the authorities to be doing what I'm doing. <laughs> Matthew and Alida were never married. You must have forgotten about it. How large a bribe are you asking? Matthew's children would inherit half the estate when old man Perry dies. I know the law, Sheriff. And to think I used to have to listen to people tell me you didn't want to learn our customs. What exactly do you want from me? I want the individual artist. That's not under my control. When they come back from hanging leisure, I want them to find out that I've caught Matthew's real murderer. But all my best witnesses are being chased out of town. I need one of their own to convince them. I need you, Mr. Willoughby, as my witness. Uh... 
Who do you plan to arrest? You knew Matthew's enemies better than I did. You choose. Give him the milk. Can't. Hold on a minute. What is he doing here? We're not going to let them go hungry. Now, if you think that we are going to provide... No, James, James, Grab him. please! Stop. We're not going to let them starve. Bring him no. back here. They let are my go. brother's children. Don't, Don't stop. stop. You hold still. Let me go! Let me go! Hold, hold still. Bring him over here. I'm sorry. Did I scare you? Come here. I want to talk to you. Come here. Are you all right, Come here. Justin? Come here. It's all right. I'm sorry. Do you know who I am? Huh? Huh? I'm your uncle, right? I didn't know who you were. Just give us a second here. Your papa's dead. Do you feel bad about that? This will make you feel just awful. Your papa getting killed like that? Do you know anybody who's giving your papa any trouble? Huh? If you know, and whisper it in my ear. Ben is there, bro. Go grab the sheriff. Bring him back here. Should I give the boy more milk? We can't let the bastards think they have any claim on this place. Go grab the sheriff. No. Bring him back. James, stop. James. What's the matter? We are going to care for Matthew's children. The hell we are. You're not in charge here, James. Well, then who is? Matthew's dead. So if I'm not in charge yet, it won't be long. And when I am in charge, I guarantee you those bastard children are not going to touch a head of our cattle. You are not in Mississippi anymore, James. The law in Louisiana says I inherit the herd. Not you, not us. Me. Well, it is mine. I can do anything I like. But the same Louisiana law says that I am the Lord and Master here. Not you, not us, and not those bastard children. I don't see what you're so worried about. <laughs> We've convicted men would have this much evidence. I don't doubt it. I just wish I had some guarantee you'll keep your end of the bargain. You've got my word, don't you? <laughs> what? Dulce. He thinks you killed his papa. I, I, I got to explain to him now no. the stories. People are going to be pumping no, into his No, you don't understand, Belazir. He told James Willoughby. Willoughby would never believe that I'm even capable of... No, Willoughby's going to the sheriff. You must go now, Belazir. You must leave, please. What? Oh, God. Come here. <clears throat> They'll find you here. They'll accuse you now. You get in there. Careful. Just get in there. Be Don't careful, you come out. That's him. I did not kill Matthew Perry. I didn't know that we were coming. I needed to bully Leger. I know what you're thinking, Balazar. You don't have a chance. You'll have to come with us. Oh, 
अरे ले आलेगा। Save yourself, Belizea. Go around the back. Look, 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 look. Hurry. Go, go. Get it. Come on. But the, ooh, the odd house. I got to use that. Yo. Come on. Get it. Get it. Somebody shoot. We need him alive. Call the vigilantes of police. Too late for that, Baliza. What is it you want of me? You say I killed Matthew Perry? Would that be enough to end this violence? All right, then, then I killed Matthew Perry. You hear me? I killed Matthew Perry. You call the vigilantes of police. The confession is written, Balazar. I'll read it to you. I'll read it myself. Didn't know you could read. Tordell, see if the horses are ready. Yes, that's right. Just says that a father has children. Oh, yes. You read very well, but you we'll see, this is a legal document, and that means... No, no but uh, it says that you were like a father to yes, him. No, 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 right. he says that a father has children. No, no. context of this sentence, it, it means that you are responsible. No, no, no. Otherwise, they'll be... There's no word here about responsibility. No you don't understand what you're reading. No, 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 I'll no, tell no, you what no, this no, means. It means that if a father has children, he can never inherit Matthew Perry as well. No, it doesn't mean that at all. That's the only confession I'll agree to. Well, you'll agree to, and now whose confession is it? His or mine? What about Leger? Sign. And I'll send someone and Laura going to save it. Hey, you promised Laura gone. That's a plug. <laughs> So what if you and your cousin hang? I'll save 19 families from exile. What do you want, Balazan? You know, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and... Uh, well, if I confess that I fathered those children, as we say, I should leave something to provide for them. Well, all right. What exactly is it you want? Oh, just a cow. A cow? Yeah, a milk cow, a good producer. Every dog will need milk for the children. All right. I can let you have a cow. Mule, maybe. But you mean you're not going to leave her your mule? Oh, my mule is enough to keep me in corn, but uh, her with the whole family to support like this. Give me a new mule. All right, there's one cow 
and one mule. Oh, I sure would love to give her a horse. No horse? Well, she got two mules already. She doesn't need a horse. I know. I'm just saying I would just love to give her a horse. I'm not giving her a horse. Well, you're supposed to take care of her, not me. I'm doing you a favor. I'm not giving her a horse. You're going to give it a horse. You give it a horse. Or in my last words from the gallows, maybe I'll just tell the whole population here how you and me killed Matthew Perry together. Nobody believe you. Well, they believe me. Because a man is going to hang anyway can afford to tell the truth. I'm not going to deprive a man of his last words for the price of a horse. The horse is not the issue here. I will not be made a fool of, not by him. I'm hanging the man. What more do you want? You're not some little Creole pony either. I want a big, strong, uh, an American horse. Oh, no. If you let that man speak from the gallows, you can forget about having me as a witness. I must get rid of the vigilantes, Alizal. I'm sorry. But I need him. If I can't speak from the gallows, I got out of the way. What kind of spell are you going to cast in a ball and chain? You get what you wanted, Balizal? He's a very rich man. You could have gotten two or three pigs real easy. And on that curse, make it a good one.
Don't try to kill nobody. Give yourself up, AJ. Squad, it's a damn turkey shoot. I say. No, no, no. Not your affair, Sheriff. No, no. What you been doing here? Turn away from that man. Damn you, Willoughby. She was a little muddy, but I was missing as a big room. Do I have any other to live in? She was a little muddy, wasn't it? Is there You men are murderers. An execution is not murder. Killing an innocent man is murder, and one of you will have to hang for it. What is that? Which one of these men you want to see hang with you?
wanted, Billy. Boy grows well. His name will be Billy Zer. Billy Zer? I'll give you trouble. Confession, Belizea. I could have proven you were innocent. To save Polite. But you didn't. You didn't save Polite. No, I didn't, did I? My little Polite. All alone out there. Stopping them that took the law into themselves. Well. All a man's life is worked out his deeds. And here they come from Dirty Mile around to see me hang for my prayers. But I have no deeds. I have no deeds. Just send someone to get the last batch of the balm you need for this shoulder. Should keep you for quite some time. Let me see that. Thank you, Bowser. I'm also giving some thought to your other problems. My problem? I'm here about your problem, Bowser. No, no, I mean the one with the bishop. Yeah. <laughs> Triple hanging is going to be terrible news even in a place like New Orleans. Huh? I'm sure he'll have heard about that. Diocese already wrote me a letter about him. Well, I knew. Father, wouldn't that bishop be proud if that young American landowner who was murdered, that, that, that Matthew Perry, let's just say that he was the very Protestant that you had converted to the church. A convert? Married in the church, yes. Yeah. You know, baptized as children. Please. 
please, please. Of all of this man's sins, God knows I know most of them. The greatest was to defame the children of Matthew Perry. Please, one moment, please. Trust me. Matthew Perry and Ali Doc Thibodeau would entrust the father. Both of the parish of Vermillion. I trust him less, but he's up. Matthew and Ali Da were married by me when I first arrived here 10 that years ago. That is a lie! Don't believe a word that priest said! Get him off of there! Due to the special circumstances... Hey, would the Paris gonna need help getting into that new estate, Sheriff? Uh, How much did you pay him? Him? Get him off of there! He's gonna be caught! You know, Polizal, uh, I always wanted to get in the cattle business. On the side. The children are all his, all legitimate. How does he know this? They're all legitimate. All baptized in Holy oh, Mother of the Church. You'll be saying yourself and you'll be saying me. Please, please. You get him out of there. Get him out of there. Not being able to conduct the funeral services. He lied to you from the pulpit. He lied to you from my gallows. Nah, how much did they pay you? How much did they pay you? I hope this clears the whole matter up. You call the truth. This town don't need you. Isn't it bring me great sadness to believe in a certain act? Listen, you know, I, I haven't even apprenticed. My, 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 my secrets are healing. But, uh, well, but before I go, I, I wanted to pass out to you as a, just a, a little inventory of some of my, my medicaments and my remedies. And there's nothing here that's good without prayers. But those it is, if you could use it, it's yours. Hey, did it? That, that, that's an elixir for the break bone fever. Is there anybody that could use that? Hey, anybody? Hey, pass that down to the man in the straw hat to do. There's a poultice for the snake bite. That's good for your, your afflictions for your gums. Who's in there? Maybe you haven't cooked up a nice big gumbo for everybody after I'm gone, huh? Yeah, that's a lay! That's a lay! That's a, that's the most potent and popular elixir in the parish. One drop in a glass of water to cure the cold, two for the pneumonia. Who wants it? Who gets it? So stiff. <laughs> hey, that's a, that, that's a charm for the lonely. You know, if you put that under the pillow of the one you love, that'll bring a proposal of marriage. It will. 
Hey, where, 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 where's Widow Como? <laughs> Widow Como! Widow Como! That's for you. Listen, will you come sit in the buggy? Yes, he has my only cure and my only remedy. It's better than leeches, it's better than laudanum, and should the cholera come back, you'll be ready. Who wants that? Monsieur Pete! Give that to your papa. You know, this here thing was given to me by a little old Santa Dominion slave woman. She called that the Grigli of Judgment. But I warn you about that. Because I've seen the effect of their root. Must not be touched, nor played with, by a little child. You know, I've seen liars touch that, and they were stricken with the, 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 the asthmatic fevers. I've seen thieves touch it. They spit up their own blood. You know, I've been told. I've been told that a man who has had the misfortune of taking another man's love. Or should he be in the presence of this root? He would be struck dead. I guess that goes for me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to touch that? <laughs> you want to touch that? Huh? How about you, Mo? <laughs> How about you? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, no, the executioner, he don't want to touch that, does he? <laughs> Dad, let him take it and Mr. Willoughby. I'm talking to you. Yeah. I want you touch that. I wouldn't do it in my hand. Touch it. Touch it. You believe in it, you touch it. You touch it. Hey, don't you touch me, boy, I'll tell you. You touch it. Yeah, you touch that. You won't touch it. me with black magic and nothing to do with me. Now, you touch that unless you and that R took the life of Matthew Perry. <laughs> Get him! Get him! Get him! 
Breathe, breathe, breathe. Now you're a man of means, Felizar. Remember what I told you to say. Go on. It's all right. Mr. Benazel? I'm sorry for all the trouble I've gotten you into. Oh. Harris. No trouble? Uh, <clears throat> listen, uh, I realize that you were born under four at a year, but uh, regardless of all that, happy birthday. For me? Yeah, that's for you. Oh, oh. Oh, look at him. <laughs> I guess a year and a day you'd be a morning for Matthew. I've been thinking about that. I mean, you'll need someone now to provide for you now that I'm a man of means, as they say. And, uh, maybe you'll be fixing an enemy. <laughs> yeah, there's no harm in axing, is there? Now, Billy, is there? You're not axing me. Would you marry me? We'll see, Billy, is there? We'll see. children. Come on. Oh, madame, sister, me donnez-moi Alida. C'est la seule que moi j'aime depuis l'âge de 14 ans. Si tu pas mal à donner, on va se monde, on va la voler, on va cacher dans mon manteau. Si tu veux me la donner, on va se mon on va la soigner. 